Hello everybody and welcome back to the Chassis Variant Series with myself, Critical Rocket. We are on the Clan Novacat. This is the Omnimech that was designed after the Battle of Tukid by Clan Khan Severin Leroux, I believe his name was. And uh, it was uh, actually produced partially in conjunction with the Draconis Combine after Novacat started to drift more towards aligning itself with the Inner Sphere more than its, uh, its Clan Brethren. As a result, the Novacat is built with the understanding that it is easy to maintain, easy to repair, but simple to use. As such, uh, most Novacats feature a very heavy emphasis on energy weaponry with lots of double heat sinks. So, high heat, high damage, um, but with a relative ease of maintenance. And as a result, it was quite successful in that regard as a 70 ton Omnimech. It was developed. Uh, based heavily on the Night Gear design from Jade Falcon, which is why it has certain similarities to it in its phys uh, physical appearance. And uh, yeah, it was a highly successful design that uh, helped Novacat maintain its uh, holdings uh, in clan space for a short time before uh, everything was abandoned, essentially, and moved to the Inner Sphere where it could. So, in MWO, it's a pretty effective energy boat, and if you've probably seen the Prime gameplay video that I did, it's on a separate playlist and it's uh, a pretty damn good uh, heavy and I don't mind it, I quite like the Novacat this is the Alpha which is even more sort of pinpoint focused on its role as an energy Omnimech it carries four ER large lasers, it has four energy hardpoints in total uh, two in each arm, no other hardpoints or anything else, left or right torso, or he head and center torso and all that it carries a bunch of double heatsinks and a targeting computer Mark V by default which means you get some nice buffs for your energy hardpoints, so a slightly extended range for your lasers even more so, you know, on top of your skills. Uh, you've got slightly better recharge rates, all, all the good stuff that targeting computers can give you. But is it better than the Prime or some of the others? It's probably down to personal preference. With a lack of hardpoints it means you could drop out that targeting computer, go with 91 skill points in what you need, probably get the same buffs from the targeting computer anyway, and then just focus entirely on uh, double heat sinks to manage your heat. Uh, you could turn this into a ER PPC sniper, whatever the hell you want to do with it. It's got the tonnage and it's got the energy allowing you to build, bring whatever kind of build you want. Uh, its primary role from its default build is to be a sniper though and this is what I did for the majority of this match. I was trying to find the escort target and then I was trying to uh, hit targets of opportunity that I could knowing I wasn't going to be doing a huge amount of damage but it's that it's that chip damage, as they say in Overwatch um, Pro Gaming. It, it, you know, you, you do a little bit of chip damage as you go, because you, you want to slowly wear down targets so when your brawlers get close there's already some something for them to focus on damage-wise. So, yeah, I do like this build. I do like the Novacat Alpha. It's not as good as the Prime, though, because the Prime has more energy hard points and its weapon set is a little bit more diverse with the ER PPCs and the ER Larges. It still makes it incredibly hot. It is a difficult mech to run heat-wise and you do have to constantly ma manage your heat. You can get three or four salvos out without worrying too much on a cold map, but on hotter maps you're going to be running the red line fairly quick and you do need to rely on that quick cooling functionality. So yeah, it's um, it's a good mech. There isn't really much else uh, to say about it outside of that. It's, it's one of those things where if you enjoyed your ability to um, customize your mechs that way, at least you could find one of the other Novacat variants that comes with a few more energy hardpoints around. Like for instance, you could make it into a six energy hard uh, hardpoint mech by taking the Novacat Bravo or uh, the Hero side torsos for whatever reason you take the Hero ones, and that way you could have six energy hardpoints. Um, or you could take the Prime's right torso and replace the right torso on the A if you wanted AMS. Those kind of things are available to you if you want to run it that way. But that said, they're probably are better options out there uh, for you if uh, if you just want to focus on time and energy I'd say the Prime is probably your best choice but yeah it's a decent Omnimech uh, although I, I do wonder now I don't see them as often as uh, some of the other mechs like the Night Gear and stuff I guess just because they have extra 5 tons or maybe other mechs do better than it what do you know tell me in the comments below because you you guys are a bit more in tune with how the custom side of things go these days. I can only react on what I come across in, in the matches if I come across certain builds that are focusing on like SRM boating at the time, you know, based on the most recent patch changes and all the rest of it. Uh, with regards to this match, I did find that uh, the 
Search time took a long time, and obviously this video was made in the week that Battletech was released, and I know there's been a lot of people on my friends list in Steam who have been playing a lot of Battletech, and I don't know how much MechWarrior they have been playing. I don't know how badly MWO has been affected by this, and I'm saying badly affected in a short-term sense, as in, this is a this is obviously something that will subside. There will be the people who bought it and they play it and they go, yeah, I still like MechWarrior, I'm going to play both. You know, and there are going to be some people who will just wholesale shift and they'll never come back. And there'll be some people who play Battletech and go, nah, it's not for me, I'll you know, refund it or I won't play it as much, I'll play MechWarrior more. And I'm sure at the moment PGI is suffering a little bit of that with the old matchmaking times. Because it took me a while to find this match and throughout these Novacat videos there's a sharp kind of uh, scale of like, it, the, it peaks with how sort of easy it is to win a match and then it, it drops into a trough with how, how easily you get stomped and I think the matchmaker was having a hard time and it was throwing again people from across all five tiers against each other. There was no no attempt <laughs> by the matchmaker to keep things uh, balanced in that regard, unfortunately. So I don't know, I, I'm guessing PGI's servers might be having a little bit of trouble with that one. But I'm sure that'll all even out in the end, it'll be fine. So yeah. Um, oh yeah. This this is this is one. This one's got jump jets. That's right. That was one of the other things I forgot to mention. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember how many others have jump jets. It's interesting that um, for whatever reason, uh, Smurfy. Uh, I because I, I double checked the hard point numbers on Smurfy. Uh, Smurfy says the Alpha doesn't have jump jets. Well, that's a lie because it does. It's got two in each side torso, I think. So uh, they might need to amend that. Uh, but yeah, the Alpha uh, I think is the only one. I think top of my head is the only one that has jump jets. So uh, that's one of the other things. If you want a jump capable Nova Cat, the Alpha is, is your choice. Just get the two side torsos again. You don't have to worry about You're not losing any hard points uh, with that one. Uh, but this match is uh, wrapping up. It's getting to an end. It was uh, it was an escort mission and um, we didn't win it, but I think my damage was pretty good considering I tried to play the snipey role the whole time. And uh, yeah, didn't get any kills or whatever else, but I did, I did some damage. I did, I did all right, I think. What, what do you think? Did I do crap? Let me know. Anyway, have a good one all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!